I'm not back to him, man. He's up there saying he ain't got no money to make. So he's got no ears to everything. Yeah, I hear you, old Magellan, Bella. Hello. Yeah, ten man hard at uh, string bang. String bang come right back to him, and the rest of the ten man said he didn't have no mother nature. I could hear him up there. He's sounding good today. Well, y'all just don't have good condition together, but boy, this bass scatter showing out. I usually barely hear 10 man, but I can hear him good today. You just keep the uh, you keep uh, conditioned all day long down in Riverside, don't you? Well, they're somewhere, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I have conditions with somebody all day. Usually it's DW or a doorknob or a triple two, or you. I know it seems like uh, I can always get you there, you know, no matter what time of day it is. So you just got yeah, you're sitting in the center of the West Coast Skip universe, I think. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm in charge of all the mud ducks, and as long as all the big boys are quiet, I can talk. <laughs> well, at least you're a very modest person, anyway. You could be, a, you could be out there saying, "Yeah, I got that mud down." They can't do nothing. <laughs> Anyway, I want you to get a gate on me on there, though, just to make sure my audio sound like it ought to since I've replaced the parts in this thing and everything. They call me Dr. Oh, uh, there's been four or five or six in the one running now, and yeah. Like you said, you had four or five or six. But them ones on my driver don't count there. I wanted to, I wanted to hear it now they got the big box cut right. I heard somebody... Tambor, well, I've been recording you here for the last hour or two, off and on. And, yeah, there's three or four in there with you. There was one 20 minutes, or probably five minutes, just straight you. <laughs> Nobody else. Ten for Roger. Okay, that part. They go talk the day to you. Uh, oh, uh, Jelly Belly out there in the Central Coast wanted me to wave a friendly hand your way there, Roger. 10-4, waving a hand right back. You know, I, I like all those guys, Jelly Belly and number the other number nine. Because they keep everybody talking out here. It gives me something to do. I can't talk back because they're talking, but there's always a bunch of people, and usually the gates are nice and clear. Hello, Pirate. Hello, Pirate. Good evening, Roger on that. Hey, Jelly Belly, old number nine, down there in Riverside. One they tell you a great big top of the day right back there. 14. Jelly Belly. Okay, my friend. I'm going to get back on the side a minute, too, and read the mail and see if anybody cleans out my receipt. Hey, hey, let, let me know something. Is my Roger B. working, Jelly Belly? I guess I'm not to feel good, 
Okay, I cut it back. I just turned it on earlier to see if it was working, and I couldn't even get a comeback to see, so I, I finally just now noticed it was still on. I can't hear it or anything, but I seen it on my screen. Oh, he'd say something if it was a crow. Yeah, boy, is it loud or is it kind of sissified little baby beat? for on the baby beat. All right, then, mighty fine. Hey, Jelly Belly, thank you for the information. I'll cut the Roger B bag off. I don't need it anymore. You'll know when I get off the key. Somebody else will come up in your receipt. <laughs> Catch you later, Jelly Belly, the crack shot bag out in Jenny.